Hey guys, Rachel here from Spunky Misfit Girl Mead. Uh, I gotta keep a, an eye on the time on this one because the last video I made was way too long. Um, but this is, you've probably seen part one uh, and thank you for my your patience with my um, screwed up page sizes. So, I'll put the I'll put the sizes for these um, into the uh, into the description so that you can see exactly what it is. But what I d ultimately did because it was easier than just trying trial and error with printing and and just um, you know having the wrong sizes too much is I just put the proper size that I wanted into a Canva design and then pulled the papers into Canva and then dumped them into the proper design. It's kind of is very easy. Um, you can do this with a free account. You don't need to have a pro account like I do um, to be able to do what I'm just describing. It's, it's very much drag and drop. You just upload the papers, make a design of that proper size, and then dump those in there. And then you'll be able to share those as PNGs with your yourself, print them out, and make your journal. So last time we went over uh, putting together the structure for this envelope journal. And today I wanna just keep it pretty simple and go over the these pages and this kit are actually designed with this format in mind. Um, so I have pages that I actually intended for each position in this um, in this envelope journal. So you can use them that way if you like, uh, or you can fiddle with them and move them around and use them in different places if you want. But what I've done is I have this one here that I used as the cover when I designed this kit. And if you like, you also have pieces to make this a little more, um, you can use it just like this if you want, it looks beautiful. Or you can also um, make this actually relief. You can cut out the this brown square and ink it up if you want. Cut out these guys um, in this photo and, and ink them up. And they fit right over the top of that to make a nice um, relief cover. I also have this piece in there. Um, I believe I need to make it a little bit bigger. But so that's for your cover. And then um, when you open up on the inside, I have these two pieces here that come with the inside the ephemera part of the kit. And those are intended, they're the right size for these, this flat pocket. Um, so I like this lady on the outside here and she kind of fits nicely there. And then Madame Butterfly on here. And then I, I designed this page specifically without too much going on because I like to use it in this middle space, which generally gets a nice big pocket over the top of it, just like that. Um, and this guy's in there too for you to use. And then I just glue glued on with the just the three edges here and leave this side open um, so that you can use that as a pocket. I use this guy here for the outside of this envelope. And actually, I don't think I, I forgot the other one. Um, there's a paper in the kit though that is just song. It's just the music from one of the operas. It might be La Boheme. Um, I think it was La Boheme. 
and uh, I used that as for for the other envelope on the other side. So I'll I'll show you that in one second. Um, so these guys here, this guy here. Here's your cover and your lady on this side, and that is your front side, except for this inside envelope, which you want to be careful. I been forgetting recently that's last you've got to make your um your closure first uh i use i have this this red background paper in here i use that quite a bit for this kit um i used it both on this uh this flap here and then i believe on the inside of the other envelope to use this guy yellow guy on the inside of this flap so those are your papers for that and all I did to create these these envelope pieces is basically cut out a template with cardboard so this is for the outside you can see I always give a little bit of space because I just, I really like how that looks. It looks very classy. So I cut out a template for that. And then I also have a template. Um, I have an opened envelope. I also do have a template for the main pages that I actually haven't really been using. Um, and where is my envelope? It's missing. Um, what I did for this inside one, because it's a little trickier, you have to get the right length here, and you have to get, this one you have to get right up against, because you want to cover up your sticky insides, and you're going to want to cover up your seal when you put it in there. Um, so I just took an envelope of the size and opened it up, um, you know, un undid the glue, and then use that i kind of marked where it needs to stop and then i use that as a template um cut it all out put it inside of here and then kind of see you know fiddle with it cut it a little more um but i will maybe go through that in a little more detail in another video right now i just kind of want to get you clarity on how to use the kit uh, to create this journal. So this guy I designed specifically for the back. And again, you can mess with these placements if you want to. Um, absolutely no worries there. Um, but I did create this specifically again for this specific type of journal and I usually put a pocket on the back here underneath here um so you have this kind of more blank background that will still look nice on the outer edges but it's not gonna you're not gonna be worried about covering it up really and so then I have a number of pieces in the kit in the with the ephemera that you can use for pockets um on the back here this one could be maybe, um, so all of these are the right size. I tend to like this one. I think it's kind of cheeky and cute and fun. <laughs> um, so you can use that guy. You can use Rigoletto if you like that better or La Traviata here is um, kind of designed specifically with that in mind too. This guy looks like it would probably be pretty close to the right size. Eh, maybe a little too tall. You might want to trim that off. And then what I was thinking of is this, is I have a full paper that uses this, which is, I believe, the music from Labo M. And I use this on the outer, the outer side of this envelope here and the red background again in here. 
Um, and that's pretty easy. You don't even really need a template for that one. You can just measure. You just wanna hit this inside of the spine and then you just wanna make sure it's long enough to come underneath the lowest point of this envelope and then slide it in there. And that's gonna look really nice. This guy is the one I designed for this back middle page. And that gets, you have a number of options. You have um, triangle pockets. I like the gold one when it goes up against this guy here. I'm just gonna put my pocket on there so you can kind of see ultimately how the design of that looks. Um, so yeah, I would probably trim this off a little more just to show more of this guy's face. And then she's got some opera glasses in her hands here that I like to be able to see. So I'd probably make that a smaller pocket. You can also use the red if you prefer the red. I don't know where it went. My craft desk is hungry. Uh, so the red looks looks really nice too. Although, you know, it maybe depends on what you ultimately decide to use for this inside piece here. There are a couple of other papers, uh, at least one other paper in the kit that I originally, that I designed later. Um, oh, I actually, I think I'm wrong. I think when I made this before, yeah, I'm forgetting. Actually, I'm pretty sure. I used the yellow pocket here, and then I actually used this background guy for the outside of this. Yes, I am sure of that. And what I used this for was the inside here. And that looks really nice because then what I did was I took the, I have these uh, opera glasses with the painting on them, fussy cut them out and put them here. And ultimately that looked uh, really beautiful. I was really pleased with it. So that's the basic structure of the kit. And then there's, um, there's tons of ephemera in there, which you can decide where it goes. Um, and how you wanna handle all of that. Tags, cards, so many beautiful opera posters, uh, little related characters and people. These ladies are great. Um, they're in there as fussy cuts as well. If you wanna put them on top of your pocket or anything like that. Um, so that's the basics for how the kit was designed and how to put it together. I'm gonna to put the lion's share of this journal together um, in terms of the, the these basic pages off camera, but then I'll come back to show you how to do the um, some of the trickier pieces with the templates. All right, thanks for watching guys.